All right, guys, so for this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a chapter 11 topic where we determine the enthalpy of vaporization by using just vapor pressures at two different temperatures, right? As temperature increases, what happens to vapor pressure? Vapor pressure will increase, so it is a direct correlation. So we can actually see that with this numbers down here. At 42.8 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure is 92. But if we increase it to 57, we'll say 57.0, haha, uh -huh, we have 108 torr. So the pressure increased when we increased our um, temperature. So we can actually see that. So what is the um, enthalpy of vaporization? So all we have to do, this one's actually called a plug and chug. So what one good thing to do is just assign a pair of temperature and pressures as situation number one. So why don't we call this, the 92 tor and the 42.8, we'll call that situation one, and we'll call the 57 degrees Celsius and the 108 tor, we'll call that situation two. All right, as long as you assign one, one and one, one thing one and thing two, right, and you're consistent with it in the equation, then you will get the right answer. You can have, this could be situation two, and this could be situation number one. It doesn't matter. I just picked it, uh, you know, arbitrarily. Um, so one big thing to keep in mind is that these degrees have to actually be in Kelvin. So in order to do Kelvin, all you do is add 273.1. So 273.1 plus 57 is gonna be 330.1. Kelvin for this, and for up here, 42.8 plus 273.1 is 315.9. Um, so, this is for scenario one, or this is the temperature for scenario one. Okay, so. What we need to do is, and what does P, uh, P1 and P2 have to be in? Well, the units for these can be anything as long as they're the same, right? This is gonna be in Tor, this is gonna be in Tor, so what's gonna happen? Is they're gonna actually end up canceling each other out. So what we need to do is, um, so ln of, and what's my uh, pressure for my first scenario? That is 92.2. So it's gonna be 92.2 divided by, and what's my uh, pressure for my second scenario? That's gonna be 108 tor. Equals negative, and this is um, the heat of vaporization, right? This is our unknown, the enthalpy of vaporization, divided by R. Now what is R? R is 8.314, and its unit is joules um, per K mole, or joules per mole K. So since it's gonna be in joules, our answer is gonna be in joules. So we'll come back to that, but you notice that it's joules per mole K. Stop. Joules per mole K. So we have to have this in, um, we have to have that in um, Kelvin. So that's why these have to be in Kelvin. So, all right, sorry, um, lost my train of thought there. So one divided by, and what's my first scenario's temperature? What, uh, it's 315, right? So one divided by 315.9 minus one divided by, and what's my second scenario's temperature? 330.1. Running out of room here, right? Okay, so one thing to keep in mind when you're actually doing these divisions here is that these are gonna be teensy, teensy, teensy numbers, aren't they? Do not, um, don't uh, type it in your, make sure to use parentheses when you're typing these in your calculators. So one divided by 315.9, and then you're gonna subtract one divided by 330.1. Okay, so we got a little number, which is good.
we got a little, little number. So that little number is 1.36 times 10 to the negative 4. So we're going to put 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 3, 6, 2. And then ln, uh, so 92.2 divided by 108. I do not have a... And the, um, um, the natural log of that is going to be negative 0.1582. Okay. So to get rid of this, we could either multiply it over here. So let's go ahead and do that because this is in the denominator. So we could either divide these right now or we could put this over here by multiplying it. So same thing, right? Um, so I'm going to multiply this number by 8.314 and I get, now what you notice is that we have a negative and a negative, correct? So given that, we can actually just make them both positive right now, right? And ignore it from now on. So the 8.314 times 0.15 8 is going to be a 1.315 and that's going to equal whatever the delta H of vaporization is times 0 0.0001362 right? so then I just need to take this number and divide it by 0 0.0001362 I do not have a calculator, by the way. Make sure you have a calculator for the exam. So I got 9,654. And the unit for that is in joules per mole. And they usually ask for it in kilojoules per mole. So we could say 9.65 kilojoules per mole. And that is the enthalpy of vaporization. So I do hope that this video helped and maybe cleared one or two things up, but that is how to determine the vapor pressure when you're given two different scenarios, two different temperatures with two different corresponding pressures. How to plug it into the Clausius-Clapeyron equation. All right, thanks.